Okay, so that was a great interview with um, Miss Lauren. And now I have another tall, beautiful, sexy dancer actress for you. Her name is Hetty Barnhill. I'm going to talk to her for a little bit, so enjoy. Pay attention, okay? Hi, I'm Hetty Gornhill and I'm a tall black actress. <laughs> hey, Hetty. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hetty, tell me about, tell tell my blog about yourself. What's your history? Where you from? What did you do? Okay, so I'm originally, I was born in St. Louis, Missouri, and um, I lived in East St. Louis. If anyone knows, St. Louis, Missouri and East St. Louis, Illinois are very close to each other. So I was born in St. Louis, raised in East St. Louis, and then moved back over to St. Louis, Missouri. So um, I always say I'm by state. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay. Wonderful. And so, what is your background in in dance or acting? What have you done that you know that's significant to you? Okay. I, well, I started at three. It was either Ritland or dance class. Ah. <laughs> um, I started with a, a, a school called the Palazzo Guerin. Okay. Um, dance Academy in St. Louis, Missouri. And, um, and then I went to Catherine Dunham Children's Workshop wow. and East St. Louis um, Catherine Dunham's Workshop. It was two two different sets. I um, studied there and I went to the Muni um, in Coca. Coca is uh, th these are all establishments in St. Louis and East St. Louis by um, by state area that um, is um, dance related, art related. Um, Coco was uh, the Center of Contemporary Art then, now Center of Creative Arts, and um, and the other one was it? Um, Muni Opera was um, um, the St. Louis Municipal Opera okay. that has um, I think it's like the number one largest outdoor theater in the world. Wow! And um, has these great sets and. Um, in the summer, just this amazing summer stock of about eight shows. So I had the music, the dance, and the acting from the time I was 11. Before 11 was just straight dancing, which okay. was ballet, tap, jazz, and denim. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. You were I busy. Was, I was hyper. <laughs> Your parents were like, uh-uh, we got to put something. She put me in a lot of stuff and then including piano and things like that. By the time I got 11, she asked me, what do I want to stick with? Okay. I said um, dance, and so that's why she kept me um, um, inside. What was I doing then? Kept me inside Pelagi and Captain Dunham. Then I went over to Muni and Coca. Okay. I went to Perform Arts High School, BAP. Okay. Central, and I danced at my church. Dance has always been the continuum throughout my life. It okay. Was, it was my therapy. So. Okay. And how did you make the... Um, before Fela, you're you know of course on Broadway here doing Fela. Did you do any other, like other acting roles that didn't involve dance before this? Yes, I did. Um, ooh. Well, I was a student at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts when I finally moved to New York. Okay. Um, but before that, I was an acting minor at Columbia. Okay. In Chicago. Okay. And I did Second City there. So okay. I did some improv. I was working with a group called Words. It was an outreach um, sect of of Second City, and we did um, shows that were improv-related acting, and then I did plays around Chicago. Um, I did vagina monologues, um, and then I was constantly doing musicals in the summer, but that's dance-related. But I did My Fair Daddy, Guys and Dolls, Meet Me in St. Louis. I got my equity card at 17. Okay, wonderful. So, but it was still always musical theater. Yeah. Um, when I moved here after graduating in 2006. I moved here in 2006 in September. Um, I did a lot of dance gigs, a lot of tours. I continued, I worked with the Black Rep in St. Louis. I was doing a lot of regionals and a lot of tours. So I was hardly here in New York City. It was my goal to get a job. Back in, in York, town, yeah. You know? And so it, it was hard. Um, I um, was in a off-Broadway show called, the, called Surrender. I was a choreographer of that, but I was also in, in it. And we got drama dust. We got a drama desk um, nod for it, but we didn't get the drama desk award. But yeah, I've been doing the acting thing for a while. I did some, this Law and Order work. Mm -hmm. I did um, um, some little, what you call it, webcast yeah, shows. Yeah, web series, that kind of thing. Web series. Did you like do that. the um, Fela workshop before this? No. Opening? Did you just join for the for the op opening of Broadway? I auditioned. I auditioned for. Um, the off-Broadway run of Fela, 
and he kept 10 girls. I remember this like yesterday. Bill T was walking around. Um, speaking of Bill T, let me go back. She's I, speaking of Bill T. Jones, by the way, the director of Fela. Bill T. Jones is my hero. And no, this is a whole other story. I was following that man since college. <laughs> I did American Dance Festival, and that's where I met Bill T. Jones. And I was determined to get in his company. His company came to Columbia, Chicago, fell in love with the company. And if you ask anyone, you see any interviews? In you, you back there? It always says, my goal is to be in Bill T. <laughs> Because I felt that it was uh, just, I felt the women were powerful. Mm -hmm. He had different sizes of women. You know, it was all short, it wasn't all tall. It was tall, short, white, black, Asian, it was everything. Um, and they were strong movers. Mm -hmm. They were strong. They jumped, they pulled. It wasn't just the guys doing all the big movement. So it was um, a goal that I set out for myself. And any time that he came to Chicago, or when I was in America Dance Festival, he invited me to do company class. So I kept some kind of connection with him. Okay. I always told him when I got to New York, I was going to stalk him. <laughs> By the time I moved here, I did. I stalked him. I started taking. I was um, I was invited to company class every single morning. Auditioned for the company, didn't make it. He was like, still keep on coming back because it was a, still an honor that he was letting me come into Absolutely. company class. So when I heard that he was doing the audition for Fela. This Fela in itself was um, music that I was introduced to in um, in college. So I had Bill T and Fela. I was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing. Went there, audition. He was there. I was nervous. He kept ten girls. He said, five of you all. Congratulations, everyone. Five of you all will be understudies, and the other five are actually inside the show. I thought I had it. Um, I get a call later. I found out that it was off Broadway, and they weren't doing any. Um, equity contracts, mm -hmm. and so you couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, and I was auditioning for a lot of stuff. In the Heights, I thought I got. They were couple calling me back. Color Purple, I heard I was like fourth in line for the tall girl role, Francesca Harper, and I was just being dangled, dangled. I ended up doing a show in Italy for. Um, I was the show only ran for three to four months, but I actually was there like for five or six months, um, working with Danny Ezra. Um, doing a show called Amici, and I was dancing there, and I moved back here, and um, was doing the Kaja Fall in Florida, which is another musical, and got the call from my agent saying, I think they was going on Broadway, they want you to audition again. I was like, okay, I auditioned. This is it. And, and you got it. The rest is history. It. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. And you were wonderful on stage. How tall are you, by the way? Because on, on stage, you look like a giant. Oh, God. Which isn't bad, but you know, the stage always makes people look taller. So how tall are you? I'm 5'11". You are 5'11". Yes! I'm 5'11". And then with heels, 6'1", 6'2". Yes. And depending on, like, sometimes, you know, I don't know if you know the game, but sometimes I put on my resume 5'10", because 5'10", don't sound as yes. gigantic as 5'11". Yes, that's exact. I know. Because I'm 5'9", but depending oh, i know with and with heels yeah always i go on auditions and they're like can you take up your shoes so so you do the a little less tall mm -hmm. for the resume because 511 yes. sounds like well yeah. can you give me an example quickly maybe has there been a time in your career um where your height has definitely hurt you or definitely helped you oh my god first of all my height everyone sees and they're like oh my god you, you stand out everything you must get dressed all the time and it's quite the you know it's not that way is actually a little bit harder because I always make it to the end. I never really got cut early from audition. I always make it to singing and everything. They keep me around <laughs> and then the excuse they use always it was you were too tall. To see you with the other girls, you were too tall. Um, How does it make you feel? Like, ah. Oh. I, I did Fashion Rocks with um, Fergie um, in like 2007. And I remember Fatima saying, if we didn't need these two tall girls, you wouldn't be in it because I don't really cast tall girls. You know, it's, it's, it's insane. Just flat out like that. I yes. don't cast tall girls. Uh, White Christmas. I um, knew the choreographer had the things and they told me I was too tall. And I'm like, they said we already got our bookends, which means, you know, White Christmas um, old school theater. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love old school town. And so um, the bookends, I guess, are the ending ladies. Mm -hmm. And they, only, they already had their bookends.